without passing out. Uh, I, I broke my knee in half. Um, yeah. If you've ever watched Stranger Things, then you're familiar with the infamous Millie Bobby Brown. She's the lead actor within the show and has some incredible love from fans and other celebrities as well. But being this popular and famous means that almost everything you do is under the microscope and watched closely. Thankfully, growing up and learning life's lessons is something most of us can do without the world knowing about everything we do. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for world-famous child actress Millie Bobby Brown. Whatever she says, whatever she does, the whole world knows. So today, we're going to take a look at some of the most embarrassing moments for Millie Bobby Brown. Make sure to stick around for number one because it is crazy. But before that, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. First, we start with the time that she had her first ever kiss in front of 8 million adoring fans, including her own parents. Of course, that also includes you and me and basically everyone who binged watched the Netflix original Stranger Things. I mean, how would you feel if your first sloppy, awkward, dry kiss was accidentally live streamed and then the whole world end up seeing it? I, for one, don't think I could live with that kind of humiliation. But for Millie Bobby Brown, it was just a part of being a celebrity at the young age of 15. Although she did admit in several interviews that it was all sorts of awkward to have her parents in the same room for her kissing scene with Finn Wolfhard, it's just part of the job for the young star, I guess. So who had their first kiss on this show? Caleb oh, did. Oh, let's... Caleb did. Sadie did. Sadie did. And I did. And we were all like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then I kind of like, I walked away and I was like, kissing sucks. Brown is growing up fast, and I don't think it'll be too long before she really doesn't feel embarrassed by that first kiss. Probably just really, really frustrated that it didn't look as nice as the kind of kisses she had seen in other TV shows and movies. Next, Millie Bobby Brown's second most embarrassing moment is still kind of related to that first kiss. In an interview with The Mirror, she revealed how she prepared for such an emotionally charged scene. Again, I'm talking about her very first on-screen, lips-to-lips scene with a co-actor. So obviously, there was a lot of tension building up before they even shot the scene. But before Millie could stop herself from revealing too much, she actually divulged to Mirror Reporter that she practiced on a pillow. If we're being completely honest, some of us have probably done worse, like practice on the mirror and stuff. It was almost as embarrassing as when Finn revealed in an interview with Extra how he was so self-conscious while they were filming that scene in front of around 200 pairs of eyes. He said there's a moment of surreal self-awareness when he's really just worried he might look like he's trying to eat his co-actor. Step on it. Oh, I do not allow it. Next on the list is when Millie Bobby Brown annoyed David Harbour in front of all of the people at Comic-Con. To this day, people are still debating whether or not David took it nicely or if he really was annoyed by how Millie Bobby Brown cut him off with some antics that drew all the attention and cheers away that drowned out whatever Chief Hopper was saying. So, this is what happened. David was sincerely talking about how a lot of people, mostly kids, have grown to admire Millie Bobby Brown and her ability to, well, do something because that was as far as Brown let him finish before she basically stole the attention by making quirky faces like whatever the Chief was saying didn't really matter. So, David gave up on saying whatever it was that he was trying to say and just laughed it off jokingly. But considering the age difference between the two and the fact that David was cut off while he was trying to compliment the young star in a really touching, eloquent way, it registered kind of off for some fans of the show. You can understand why he would be so annoyed though. I guess in those situations, he did the right thing. Just bite your tongue and let it go. Now let's move on to the next one. Here's another embarrassing moment where Millie Bobby Brown probably again got on the nerves of someone way older than her. So, Millie went on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, and while she was attempting to write something on a piece of paper, he did something that completely bewildered our Alien 11. He licked his pen. Naturally, Millie Bobby Brown was both shocked and appalled, and blurted out, Did you just lick your pen? Did you just lick your pen? Oh, wow. Stephen was unable to respond with something funny, like he almost always does. It was a charming interview all in all, and it gave us a lot of laughs, but somehow this particular moment felt a bit embarrassing for both parties, since it gave away the massive generation gap separating them. Luckily, the comedian host was able to recover his bearings a few moments later and managed to explain to Millie Bobby Brown that back in the day, people used goose quills to write things, and boy did those things need a good old licking. Again, the entire interview was all fun and games, but I think Millie sometimes kicks herself internally for ever asking that question. But who knows? She's still young, so I guess it's not her fault. Next up, the time that Millie Bobby Brown revealed that she was scared of bungalows. It was honestly a funny answer to a basic question when Stephen Colbert asked her about the things that she's afraid of. At first, she said things like sharks in the dark, but she probably thought all of it was too boring. So she added, a bungalow. 
Even Colbert was not able to follow her logic, so she had to explain that she's not comfortable with houses that do not have stairs. Why are you scared of bungalows? No, but bungalows really freak me out. Is that an English word for something different than it's, I it's think a, of? It's a house. It's a, ha no, it's a house. It's a house with no stairs. <laughs> for the reason that there's nowhere to escape if the rooms are just on one level. Her explanation was very innocent and creative, but a lot of people thought it was maybe a tad arrogant and insulting to those who cannot afford multiple story houses. So while we don't think Millie was particularly embarrassed by that exchange, a lot of people really suffered secondhand embarrassment from watching her try and be funny at the expense of people whose houses do not have stairs. Sorry Millie, we'll be sure to not invite you to our single story flat houses then. Next is when she couldn't answer a simple question. Millie Bobby Brown appeared in a radio show for the BBC Radio, along with two of her most adorable co-actors in Stranger Things, Gatton and Caleb. So then, the host decided to compliment her American accent, which has seriously gotten way better the past few months. So the guy asked how long it took her to study the American accent, and all of us were expecting answers spanning from six months to a year. But Millie said it took her four years. It took me about four years. I think I must- Just four years. I, I, I Just four years, it. yeah. When Caleb and Gatton started shooting each other looks, Millie tried to redeem herself by saying it's probably more than four years, which just made the moment even more embarrassing and awkward for everyone in that small radio show booth box. Gatton joked that it probably took her about 10 years and jokingly insinuated that Brown is actually really old. Instead of just laughing it off, Millie Bobby Brown closed her eyes in exasperation, touched Gatton's shoulder as if to say, you're so dead to me later, and looked like she wanted to explain some more before she gave up and broke down into laughter with everyone else. It was funny, but also pretty embarrassing. I guess the American accent is really hard to master. Next, we look at when she gagged while trying to eat Pop Rocks. In a really fun BuzzFeed video, the same trio from earlier came and reviewed Retro Toys. It was really nostalgic for millennials, but also fun to watch these young ones be delighted for the first time ever over things we really, really loved as kids. So at one point, the staff brought out Pop Rocks, and confusion just rained all over Millie Bobby Brown's face. It was apparent that she had never tried it before, and you could clearly see she had no idea what was happening. So Gatton and Caleb graciously explained to her what the candies are supposed to do when they come in contact with your tongue. But Millie Bobby Brown put way too many rocks in her mouth way too fast that she almost choked on it. We can't even say it was worth it because she was too scared to even enjoy what was in her mouth. Actually, the entire BuzzFeed video was embarrassing for the young actress since she didn't know any of the retro toys that were presented to them for reviewing pleasure. Kind of makes us all wonder what Millie's childhood looked like. If it wasn't all pop rocks and slime, then I wonder what she's been doing her whole life. Okay, so next up, most of these things have been mildly embarrassing, but there's this one video surfacing on the internet that must be really humiliating for the child actress. It's a video shared by Audrey Hope, where she talked about meeting Millie Bobby Brown. Right off the bat, the title of the video, she already said that Brown made her cry. So of course, we wanted to know how. Were they tears of joy? Apparently not. In fact, those were tears of disappointment. Audrey, who appeared as an extra on the second season of Stranger Things, narrated how she was invited at a premiere night with the rest of the cast and proceeded to ask Millie for a picture. Audrey claimed that the actress who plays Eleven took one look at her and then started to walk away while saying she promises to return to take a picture with her. So as many fans would do, Audrey waited and waited, but it was all in vain. She was reduced to tears when Brown just up and left without honoring her promise. You know what they say, never meet your heroes. Needless to say, the video must be a huge source of embarrassment for Millie Bobby Brown. Do you think that she knows to this day what happened? Like, didn't say by any of the cast members. Like, Sadie was like, where'd Millie go? And I was like, I have no idea. And the security guard was like, oh, she left. So, I got really sad. For the next most embarrassing moment, that is apparently, Brown is not the most athletic young girl ever. And she has this bad habit of crashing into people, even though she never means it. I just find out about it when her friends post snaps and IG stories about the last time Brown tripped and crashed into strangers. In one post, we can see Millie having a great time ice skating with her squad, when she suddenly loses balance and crashes into a total stranger. If that's not humiliating, we don't know what is. But then again, can you imagine minding your own business while ice skating and then Levens from Stranger Things crashes into you? I can only imagine that most people would actually like that and want it to happen. Finally, we've come to the inevitable. Our last moment was when Brown was called out for not being completely honest on YouTube. She pretended to showcase her skincare routine while promoting her makeup line. Note how I say pretended. Well, eagle-eyed viewers were quick to notice that the bottles of product Brown was supposedly using all appeared empty, and that her face stayed dry for the duration of the skincare tutorial, even though she claimed to be putting on things like cleanser and moisturizer on. Also, the hair around Brown's face also stayed completely dry even though she pretended to duck off camera to wash off the products. People started calling her out for it, and an embarrassed Brown tried to explain herself by saying it really was just a simulation of her nightly routine. She did apologize for faking it, though. 
Although it was really humiliated to be caught pretending, Millie at 15 held herself accountable and handled the shame like a pro. I guess she's trying to follow in the footsteps of Kylie Jenner and become some type of makeup mogul. It's something that could potentially happen, but she's going to have to actually put on the product. Anyway, that wraps up the video. Thanks for watching.